The PTV crew explores ways to restore and update classic cars. From modern sound to new seals, revolutionary clamps to complete engines. Next on Performance TV, presented by Topcoat. Welcome to Performance TV. We've got another great show for you this week. And of course, Kathy Fisher is around here somewhere. But right now, we're going to check in with our great friends from Steel Rubber. Danny is in the house. And we've got this 1996 Ford F-150 that needs a little love. Now, Danny, people spend a lot of time and money doing all kinds of great stuff to their cars and trucks. But one area that they sometimes neglect are the seals. That's right. I mean, the seals aren't necessarily the fun part to buy, but they're what's protecting everything that's inside your vehicle. All that work, all the paint, all the, you know, make sure there's no rust getting in or wind noise. You want to enjoy your ride and the seals will really help that. And the driving experience, rattles, wind noise, that is something you want to eliminate if you want to get out on the road and have a good time. Absolutely. And they're actually a very easy piece to install. Almost every piece is easy. So for this in particular, you know, we're going to do the door seal. So the first thing that we need to do is remove the screws and remove the paneling that's hiding that pinch wheel that the door seal is hanging on to. So a little prep work, remove the screws, push the interior parts and pieces back. The panel's moving back. What's next? That's right, and then it reveals this pinch weld. So the next thing you do, this particular piece is just pushed on. So you just get it setting on, and you'll want to set it so the beginning is at the very bottom and center of your door. And just hooking it on just like that. Now, you guys have got a factory that you do just about everything. And what I think is cool is you have just about every domestic car and truck available. Yeah, we do parts for a ton of cars. We have over 12,000 parts for, you know, all the American makes, Chevy, Ford, Dodge, even a lot of independents. So if you have an American car, chances are we have parts for it. And a catalog unique to the model. I think that's special. There's a lot of people, they want to work on a car. They don't know exactly where to go to get the seals, get these uh, felts for the window, and you can do it in one spot. Right, so we have a catalog that's just for this 1996 Ford. The door seals, the window felts, the rear window windshield weather strip, all that stuff is in the catalog that's just for this car. So you don't have to flip through a bunch of stuff that you don't need. And it's kind of cool because they custom make them for you personally, made for Joe or Danny or otherwise. It is a very nice deal. Now you are moving right along here. We're halfway done. Not just cars though, you guys do RVs also. That's something that I can imagine you would have a big client base. You gotta have a good seal if you're gonna be camping in the wilderness. Yeah, a lot of our customers have more than one toy and they've been asking us for RV seals. So now we have them. parts that are specifically for RVs. You know, we're doing parts for boats. So we just have a lot of new stuff coming out. And, and this is something that uh, it's not taking a lot of time, but it can make a huge difference because the enemy of all vehicles, and we know it, it's rust. You want to keep that out and controlling where the water goes and whether it gets into your vehicle is a huge part of maintenance. Right. And, you know, this car is definitely going to be driven in the weather. There's a lot of guys, you know, lots of gals and guys say, I'm not going to drive my car in the weather. But just like you said, it improves that driving experience with rattle and wind. And, you know, one of the things about these pieces of rubber is you want to make sure that it's pushed on all the way. You can see in this corner how it's wanting to pull, but that's easily enough fixed to just make sure that you have enough material to stay in that corner and not come out. And you one thing I like to use is like a dead blow hammer. Oh, there you go. And that'll help make sure everything's seated. And if the more material you can work into the corners, the less pull you're going to have, you know, from the center or in the corner. It just makes everything a lot tighter. Definitely something you can do at home. You want to take your time. You don't want to cut anything until the very end, correct? That's right. That is right. But vital and very important for keeping your vehicle together, though, the rattles. And if you're going off road, this is something that's going to help you. Now, I also like the fact that you're based here right here in America. You stand by your product. You got all these domestic cars covered and uh, just a good quality product all around. Yeah, anyone who's ever purchased from us knows that we're all about customer service. Uh, if you have any kind of issue with your part, we're going to take care of you. Uh, if, if you buy from us, we're going to treat your project like it's our own. 
That is great. And this F-150, it's going to need these seals. It's going to need the windows. It's going to need quite a few things. Generally, a pretty nice truck. Just needs a couple of things to get it back to A-plus shape. We're going to finish this project. Looks like it's going pretty well. Danny is a pro. For more information, hit the website. You definitely got to check out what they've got going on at Steel Rubber. We've got a great show for you, so stick around for more Performance TV. Americans love their vehicles, and in 2018 alone, they bought over 17 million of them. Turns out Americans especially love their trucks and SUVs. Of course, their versatility makes them more appealing, and the combination of relatively low gas prices and improving fuel economy are other big factors. In 2018, 68% of all vehicles sold were trucks and SUVs. Performance TV, presented by Top Coat, is brought to you by rockauto.com. All the parts your car will ever need. Borla, the world's most winning exhaust. NH Oil Undercoating, the official oil-based rust prevention system. American Off-Roads, transform the way you shop with AmericanOffRoads.com. And by Top Coat, make life easier. Welcome back to Performance TV presented by Top Coat. I am not Kathy Fisher. I'm Dave Dobson sitting in for Kathy. And right now I've got Joe with me. He's with Engine Swap Supply. And well, the name pretty much says it all. Tell us what you're doing for folks out there that want to hot rod their car. Well, what we're doing is we're finding super low mileage pullouts and we're offering it to the DIY market along with all the parts you need to get it in your vehicle and get it going down the road. Basically, you can go on our website or you can call us directly. And what we offer is the latest and greatest from General Motors, Ford, and even Mopar. We sell everything from engine mounts to cross members, fuel systems, headers. Everything ships to your door. You can get it into your car, in your driveway on the weekend. A lot of hot rodders, a lot of resto mod guys, even Jeep guys, and even people who just want replacement motors for their vehicles. There's nothing to figure out. The harnesses are already figured out for you. It's plug and play. As long as you have basic tools and a couple friends, it's no problem. Now I noticed when I went to the website, a little chat window pops up. Yeah, so we do offer a chat for just any sales questions and tech support. We also have our number on the website that you can call and get someone directly. We do have a Facebook group and other pages on our website for other customers and other people who have done swaps. So if, if you have a question, you can probably find your answer there. Now tell us what you brought in for show and tell here. What's on the table? One of the biggest problems with these Gen 5 motors is that the PCV system isn't really up to par. So we have a catch can, a uh, nice billet piece with AN lines and a slip-on fitting so you don't have to cut, weld, or anything on your valve covers. We also have a matching uh, reservoir to boot. And right here we have our CAN module. So it'll take the GM signal and it'll convert it to a signal that your, for instance, OBS, like 93, 1500 trucks, and you can have your stock gauges work with that. It also enables tap shift, amongst a few other things. We have the ECUs here for the standalone operation. Uh, along with the harness. So if you have your own harness and you need someone to convert it over to standalone and your ECUs, we can take care of that. Or if you purchase from us, that's also something we offer. So you get everything. So you brought in a harness with you and that thing looks amazing. That's actually a stock harness. Like what we take off this motor here and we would just convert it over to standalone. We reloom what needs to get reloomed. We reinforce what needs to get reinforced. And then even our fuse box is weather sealed. So you won't have an issue with it in the engine bay. And then what else did you bring with you? And this is a billet intake manifold. So this is for more of a wild setup. If you notice, it's got fuel rails for port injection. These Gen 5s have direct injection. But for anybody who wants to get real crazy, about 700 horsepower is the limit on these injectors. And if you want to go higher, safer, well, now you have the ability to add port injection and look good doing it. That's fantastic. These look great. Everything works great. What if I have a problem? We're always busy, so we try to handle everybody as fast as we can. It's probably on our Facebook page or somewhere on the website. If not, shoot us an email. You can shoot me an email directly, and we'll get you to take care of it as fast as we can. In the unlikely event that there is something actually wrong with one of your products, what do I do then? We don't have a problem sending you out a new part, if that's the case, or getting it resolved as fast as we can. So if you have an engine that's bad, send you a new one. It's that simple. Where do all of your products come from? So the majority of our products are made in America by smaller businesses as well. And if they're not made in the States, they're made by talented people in Australia. Like these catch cans here, they were made by real talented people along with the intake manifold. And you're shipping the stuff all over the world, right? Correct. We ship all the time to Australia, Norway, Iceland, and Qatar. Of course, it's not just about great components being sold all over the world. Earlier, Joe Costello talked about complete engines. 
Now we've got an engine right here. What is this out of? So this is out of a 2019 Escalade. It's a L86 6.2 backed by a 10 speed transmission. Let's say I've got a 1978 Pontiac Trans Am and I want to be able to drive it anywhere, do anything and have great power. Can you make that fit? Absolutely. It's just engine mounts and cross members. Once you have that, it's just a matter of putting it in like you took the original motor out. And then we also offer exhaust, bolt-on, plug and play, you're ready to go. Well, that actually sounds very fun. And the way modern engines and drive lines all work, like you said, a 10-speed transmission, that sounds like something I would really want. Yeah, so the biggest benefit between the newer drivetrains, besides it being fuel injected, is the new transmissions. The new 8-speed and the new 10-speed, they all drive smooth until you put your foot down and you just want to get down the road. Now, what engines are available? This is uh, out of an Escalade, but what do you carry? So we have them out of Silverados, Sierras, Camaros, Corvettes, and then, like I said, Mopar, so Challengers, uh, Mustangs, just about any high-performance American engine you can think of. Engine swap, supply, one-stop shop, engine, transmission, high-performance park. They make it easy. What's better than that? Check out their website. We'll be right back with more Performance TV presented by Topcoat right after this. The automatic transmission made its automotive debut in 1940. And up until 15 years ago, about half of the new models sold in the U.S. were offered with manual transmissions. Today, what percentage of cars sold here in the U.S. have stick shifts? Is it 2, 5, 12, or 20? The answer is A. Only 2% of cars sold today have manual transmissions. Performance TV coming from Borla Commerce Park. Welcome back to Performance TV. Shop at home, your garage, whatever. Hey, Nikki from Clamp Tight, we're using air. We're using our air hoses and the compressors and everything else. And I just have to tell you, our shop that my husband and I have, he's had an air leak for quite some time that's been driving me absolutely nuts. Fix it. You want to know why he needs to fix it? One, we shouldn't be hearing it. Two, it's making the air compressor run a lot more than it should, and it's using up electric. But Nikki, you can fix that for us. You can totally fix that for yes. you with no problems whatsoever. The great thing, too, is I'm going to make a clamp that's 360 degree seal. So that flat spot that you would even leak the air out of, right. we're not going to worry about. You'll be able to put your hands over it. So no cutting or anything like that. Yep, so let me show you how that works. Not gonna have to worry about our employees rubbing their hands over it or anything absolutely, like that. Absolutely, absolutely. So we're just gonna put the fitting in just like so. Now I'm gonna take the wire, bring the ends together. We're gonna make a loop. We're just gonna feed the ends through the loop. Yeah, the clamp tight tool is so super cool in what you can do. Absolutely. The, this fix too, I've been told at different car shows that we do and stuff, they've actually fixed it and left it on there. It's been on there for over four or five years. Wow. So we have shops so they don't have to replace it. The other thing they do too sometimes is they put um, heat shrink over top of it. Okay. So now you've even sealed it twice basically. And you mentioned the, the 360 degree seal that we're going to have by using the clamp tight tool. Absolutely and that's what's giving you that true complete seal and this fitting too is has barbs on it so it's going to get down inside of those barbs as well so there's your true seal. The other thing too is you don't have to worry about cutting into whatever you're working on. Round wire you're applying even pressure it's not going to cut the hose. I see that you are wrapping around yeah. the tool. So kind of explain a little bit of what you're going to do so next. What I'm going to do now is there's a little notch at the end of the tool. We're going to pop that loop into. Okay. So basically this is your pull. This is your push. So we're just push pulling on the wire. You're not going to over tighten the wire. You're not going to break the wire either. So because you're not over stressing it. So I'm just going to go in here and you can clean this up just a little bit more if you want to. But you can make turning. it show ready. Absolutely. If you wanted to. Absolutely. I'm going to keep turning this. When it feels tight, I'm going to feel it in the tool. Another really good indication that you're tight enough is you're going to actually see the barb starting to come through that hose. Okay. And if it's flush, you're good. It's good to go. You're ready to close it off. Okay. Now at this point, you just flip it over, loosen it, pull the tool back, cut about a quarter of an inch or so, bend the tabs down. And there is your air hose fix. Now, can you remove this or if you needed to or whatever? The main thing that a lot of people think that they have to cut it off. It's wire. You got to cut it off. There's no screwdriver to actually remove it. Sure. You don't have to do it that way. Let me show you an easy way. I'll also show you that it's going to be reusable. Really? I thought we could only use this once. No, absolutely not. You're going to be able to reuse this clamp. Okay. So as you see those little tabs, you're going to pull them back. 
the little loop that we made earlier, that you just grab and it comes off. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to reuse it. So it's already got the loop made for me. Sure. Now we're just going to feed the ends through the loop, pull that tight. Then you're going to do it again two times around if you have enough. Yeah, because as we've seen, there are different ways to, right. to do this. You can do the multiple loop yeah. around. Yeah, and there is, a, there is actually a formula for it as well. Okay. The typical formula for a double wrap clamp is circumference times four plus 12. So a little bit of math involved, but you can figure it out. Yes. <laughs> so, but if you want to go around multiple wraps, you want to do circumference times the amount of wraps you want to do plus 12. And that's going to give you that application. What gauge wire are you using here? I'm actually using, it's 41,000, so it's like a 22 gauge wire. I'm also using 304, which is all stainless. There we go. And that's what I truly recommend that you do with it. So now we're just going to go in here, take the tool, put it underneath of the loop. Wrap it up and around just like we did on the last one. Twist it together. And be able to use it again. So for, for anyone that thought once it was one and done, it's not that way whatsoever. If you have an emergency situation and need to fix something or move something around out in the street, you know, you would be able to do that once again. As you can see, all different size tools for whatever job that you need. Go to their website to find out more at clamptighttools.com. We'll have more Performance TV right after this. Charles Goodyear didn't invent the tire, but he did invent the vulcanization process that made tires more durable. Original carriage tires were solid rubber, and that made for a bumpy ride. Then along came Robert William Thompson. He invented the first pneumatic or air-filled tires. In what year did Thompson patent his invention? Thompson's aerial wheel was patented in 1845. Presented by Top Coat is brought to you by Stage 8 Fasteners, home of the world's best locking header bolt. Locking kits now available for all turbo applications. Go to stage8.com. BBI Customs, quality custom metal accessories for your Jeep or 4x4. Tribotex, make your engine last longer. Hide aside, quality from start to finish. And by Magic Creeper, the most versatile creeper ever. Welcome back to Performance TV presented by Top Coat. We've got this nice, cool first gen 67 Camaro, beautiful convertible. And you know what, with a car like this, you want to cruise around with the top down and listen to some sounds without messing up the dash. And that's what we're going to be able to do with our friends from Custom Auto Sound. These guys have been putting together classic stereos with all of the modern technology since 1977. And we're going to be able to put all of that into this beautiful car. Of course, back in the day, you just had your AM radio, one speaker sitting there in the middle of the dash. You were lucky if you could hear any of that. And look at this big monstrosity. But you're not going to have that anymore with all of the great technology packed into this very small radio, but it's going to fit right in the dash without having to do any cutting. It's still going to look just like it did from the factory. It's going to look like an AM radio, but you can change the colors. There are seven different LED colors from blue and pink and white and green, and you're going to be able to customize some other things as well. These are assembled right here in the USA. They go through heat tests. They go through vibration tests. They want to make sure that your radio is going to sound just as good for you as your car does going down the road. And Joe, what do you say we get this put into our classic Camaro? Here we go, another install, custom auto sound. One of the best things out there for taking an old school car and making it new and modern and increasing your experience. The Bluetooth, the iPod aspects of it, the fact you're listening to podcasts or whatever you're streaming from your mobile device just makes it great. And an install, pretty simple. Take the unit, they've got it very compact and very easy in that we've already run our wiring harnesses and they're keyed so you can't get it wrong, which is perfect for me. So you plug it in until it clicks and then you plug the other one until it clicks and you are ready to go. So on this Camaro, you can see that they want to keep everything absolutely as close to factory as possible. And we've got some AC vents that are going to fight us a little bit. And this install is a little different because they have an aftermarket gauge cluster. But we are going to fight right through that and then bring it right out the factory position. And so far, so good. Now, I love doing this because, frankly, I can't go anywhere without my music. And look at that. I'm going to take our washers, place them in position, and then we'll take our nut 
and get one of them on. That's what I always like to do is just get one and start it. And sometimes they fight you. This one is being very compliant. And just like that, it is going into position. And so what we are going to do is we are going to finish up, get the knobs on, get everything ready, get Kathy over here, and tune it up, test it out. But before we do that, check out this. Time now for the lowdown with Magic Creeper. You know, a lot of times when you hear a rattle underneath a vehicle, it's not necessarily the muffler or the full exhaust system. Joe, it could just be one of the heat shields. Absolutely. You got to get under there, just kind of tap around, figure out what it is, and tighten it up. Like this machine right here came in off the street, dripping a little bit of water. Good news is we don't have to jack it up because we'll have enough clearance With thanks magic to creeper. the Magic Creeper. Yes, and whether we were outside or inside or whatever, this can roll over anything. So, and it's going to keep you clean as well, and it's zero clearance pretty much. Yes, it's going to keep go. me clean as I go underneath. And the good news is I'm going to be able to bring my tools with me because the Magic Creeper is a great tool itself. First thing you want to do is kind of just like roll it under there. Leave yourself a little bit to sit on. Yeah, you want to keep it so your head's like two to three feet from the other side of the Magic Creeper. That way you can roll out a little bit and roll right underneath the vehicle, which you wouldn't be able to do this if you were to have a regular creeper with wheels. Well, this would never happen if we had to jack it up, Kathy, because uh, simply put, there's just not enough ground clearance. Here with the Magic Creeper, there is, and now I can go to work and have a look to see our vibrating heat shield. And I see it right here. What I'm gonna need is a 10 millimeter wrench I know it would be easy for me to get out with the Magic Creeper, but if you wouldn't mind getting that, but I gotta tell you, it looks like we're gonna be able to solve our problem. All right, cool, I'll grab that for you here in a moment, Joe. Find out more about what you can do with the Magic Creeper, go to their website, magiccreeper.com. Joe, I don't know about your choice of music, but I can tell you do a nice job on installing. What is this, like some Southern Florida stuff or whatever? Don't attack a man's music, oh. Kathy. Oh. You should know that. The install actually went much smoother than I thought it was going to. You know, this is great. And now we've got sound. We don't have to just the speaker in the center. And is this off? No, this is the radio. This isn't off your Bluetooth, is it? It's the music in my head, Kathy. <laughs> it's always the music in my head. We'll just leave that in his head. But guess what? That's all the time we have for this week's Performance TV. If you'd like to see your ingenious product on our show, email Jeff at masterstv.com. We'll see you next time here on Performance TV.